I just wanted to make another uh, movie video. Not really a rant, just kind of my thoughts on, um, you know, practical effects versus computer generated imagery. You know, I personally feel that practical effects are probably the way to go, especially if you're an independent filmmaker. You know, plus because you have something to interact with. To me, if you could do something practically, especially a horror film, which a lot of independent features, you know, are, you know, it's easier to, you know, get some rubbers and fake blood and make a, a slit neck than it is to uh, go in there and kind of animate it digitally. It doesn't work too well. I remember I made a, a skit. <laughs> with some friends and we were in this fucking this redneck ass town like the street signs said this way that way I'm not I'm not I'm not making this up this way that way which way <laughs> bless me anyway bless me bless me those were the signs Okay, and we would always, we would always go to this gas station, which is our only little way into town. You know, our, our communication to the outside wor world. We later found a Sonic, but for a while this is our gas station, and they must have thought we were just the most scumbaggy fucking people. Because all we did when we were there was buy um, alcohol and cigarettes. So it was like beer, cigarettes, zigzags, beer, cigarettes, zigzags, and then a bunch of condoms for the uh, for a lot of the special effects, like the blood and and stuff like that. So they must have thought we were the most scumbaggiest um, people. Anyways, that's kind of my story on that. But the reason I think it's better to do a um, special effect practically is because you have something to interact with. You know what I mean? Oh, sorry, YouTube. I just stopped the video for a second. Was uh, bothered by some locals, some locals around me. But anyhow. <laughs> Yeah, but anyhow, they must have thought we were the most scumbaggy fucking people. But, I'm trying to remember where I left off. That's right, physical effects. Let's say, you know, in, in movies, you have an actor who doesn't want to smoke, you can make the smoke CG or whatever. To me, it just it doesn't look as good. And also, you kind of need something to interact with. You know, like how I'm smoking a cigar in this video. You know, it's believable because I'm smoking a cigar, but if someone was, um smoking a CGI cigar, it really wouldn't look as, as realistic or as good. You know, which, I don't encourage anyone to start, I don't encourage anyone to start smoking, but, you know, I was just in the mood for a cigar and this is a good time to make a video but to me it's just like CGI doesn't it just doesn't look right it doesn't look natural it doesn't have weight to it you know you watch like Blade 2 and he's like flipping around and stuff he doesn't have weight to him he looks like a video game you know and um Just you know, it doesn't have weight. It's just I don't know, man. It's it's really weird just to see certain things like remade with CGI or certain effects that are you that they use CGI instead of just using practical effects. 
you know, especially horror films, like I said, if you're making an independent horror film, it's easier to do practical effects. It's going to cost less money and it's going to look better anyway. You just have to have good lighting. If you don't have good lighting, it's probably going to look like shit. But, you know, just make sure you have the lighting down and do the effect. You know, because if you use computer generated imagery, it's going to not, it's going to look like shit anyway. You know, I usually don't inhale my cigars, but I inhaled that time and exhaled it out my nose, and these are pretty smooth. Usually it's just like cigarettes and cigarillos I'll take down deep, but that wasn't too bad. I'm going to get, get me something to eat. Peace.